Hello, this is Breuer, and welcome to a brand new series for Football Manager 2019. I could not take any longer. I've been watching too many videos of 2019, and it looks really good. There's a lot of really good improvements with training and tactics and things like that. So I decided, you know, we got to a good stopping point with our 2018 um, Let's Play with Medellin. I had a lot of fun with it, but you know what? 2019 is here. Why wait? Uh, and I sided with 2019. To, I could have, you know, restarted with Medellin or something like that if I wanted to. But I've been kind of wanting to get over back over to the English uh, leagues because one of the things I like most about the English leagues is because is there's a lot of them and there's a lot of potential to to get, you know, good promotion and, and relegation based on your 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 uh, performance and really kind of advance, you know, all the way up the ladder, you know, go all the way up to to, uh, you know, maybe potentially eventually the Premier League and things like that. So I really wanted to kind of head back over here. This is actually the league. It's actually the team that I have played the most of Football Manager because I played a lot of this game offline on my own. And this is the team that I picked. And the reason I picked this team is because they were basically, you know, just fresh in last year into the uh, the National League. I, mean, I think they'd been in here one season last year. And um, so they were at the bottom league that you could possibly be in in the English League, which is the uh, the Vanarama uh, National uh, North League. Um so, or I guess Vanarama National League. Yeah, yeah, Vanarama National League North. I can't say that for some reason. Um, and as you can see here, the history of this team. Uh, over the last few years, they've, they've, they've already, they were already down all the way down into League 8 at one point. Stayed there for quite some time. And then they went on in this last four years. They went, they won League 8. Then they immediately uh, got promotion. They didn't win, but they got promotion out of League 7 into the, the North League. They got fourth place right after that. So actually, probably, I'm assuming they made the playoffs. I can't remember if it's top three or four teams that get into the, uh, get, get promotional playoffs or not. Uh, and then um, then they won at the team, you know, the, the time after that. So now they are in the Vanarama National League, which is, you know, one step down from, let's see if we can see here. Is it going to show us here? Yeah, yeah. So here we go. So here's the National League. And. Um, you got Sky Bet League Two, Sky Bet League One, Sky Bet Championship, and the English Premier League. So there's several leagues ahead of us, a lot of potential. Uh, there's also the potential that we could get relegated back down to the North League. So, you know, it is what it is. We're going to do the best we can and see what we can do. But I'm really looking forward to this. I know a lot of these players fairly well. Liam Hogan here, Adam Rooney, Jake, Jake Beasley. I've used him quite a bit. He's one of my star players in my 2018 uh, playthrough with his team. So we'll see if he's still any good this year or not. Um, well, we don't know. It's listing him as a hot prospect. I'm hoping so. He's one of our strikers. I've done a lot of really good things with him in my other games. So I'm looking forward to playing with him. Uh, but yeah, I know this is going to be a fun, fun playthrough. We might not get into any extra games right now because we're going to have to do some little setup. But uh, let's go ahead and get started and get through, get going into stuff. Um, kind of a real quick we're gonna look at the competitions. We are expected to win promotion by winning the league. I was like, what? We just got here. And they're already expecting us to get promotion? Really? That's crazy. Um, here's our schedule. We'll kind of jump into that a little bit more here in a minute because we do have some... Um, um, what am I trying to say? We have some uh, friendlies to uh, set up and things like that. So let's go look at the inbox. Here's us. Uh, not a really good like profile. I kind of just randomized it a little bit until I got one that looked somewhat okay. Uh, I think the one I had in... Uh, 18 was, was a bit better. I'm not sure. Maybe there's a way to import it, but I'm not going to worry about it. It's okay. It's not like you see your face that often in this game. Uh, what can we say formally? We're getting $80,000 per year. Yeah, okay. I'll take it. Can't can't go wrong with $80,000 per year. Um, we would like to meet the assistant coach. We also would like to attend to this meeting. So we'll, we'll attend the board meeting here. Welcome to the Emmys. Um, I do like this team because they have the, the cool lion as well. I don't know why. It just it jumped out at me as one that looked kind of cool. I'd like to take a few minutes of your time to welcome you to the club. I also want to assure you that you have the full backing of the board and we wouldn't have hired you if we didn't feel you were the right person to propel the club forward. And I was like, great, let's get this meeting started. I'm really looking forward to working with the club and achieving big things. I also appreciate you taking the time out of your busy schedule to welcome me in person. Salford City is... Uh, Obviously a club with a large history. I think they've been around since 1940, 45, something like that. The fans really appreciate it when a newly appointed head coach has taken time to increase their knowledge of the club. I appreciate you might already know a fair amount about Salford's background, but I could send you a, excuse me, yawning for a second, our apologies, but I could send a detailed overview of the club's history to your inbox if you'd like. Uh, sure, we'll take the detailed history. Why not? 
As uh, was mentioned in your welcome message, the club has no philosophies which you will be judged on during your time at the club. Would you like to arrange a meeting to discuss, suggest, or to suggest philosophies um, you're passionate about for the board? Uh, sure, we, we, uh, we'll talk about philosophies. It's traditional to hold a press conference, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, we'll do a press conference. Thanks for answering my question. I'm now going to hand the meeting over to your assistant coach, who's got a few things to talk about. On a final note, the club has many responsibilities which can either be handled by yourself or other members of staff. Feel free to adjust the staff responsibilities within the club as you see fit. Um, I hope to have a long career with you. Absolutely. Here's our assistant coach, Chris Lucchetti. Um, I'm a, your assistant coach. Firstly, before we begin, team policies, do you want to arrange an intra-squad friendly? Yeah, that sounds great. I'd like to see how the team's doing. Set up the intra-squad friendly. It's scheduled for tomorrow. Also written a report for you regarding the team. Would you like to send that to you? Sure. We'll take everything we can early in the game here to see what is going on. And would you like me to arrange a meeting with the rest of the staff? Sure. We'll go ahead and do all that. Um, would you like me to help you with any of the tasks at the club? Um, da, 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 da. Now nah, we'll just we'll, we'll set that stuff up as we go. Thanks for your help. I know where to find you if I need anything else. Cheers. Exit. Done. Uh, this concludes the meeting. Make board requests. We're not going to do the board requests right now. Okay. So here's all of our intro stuff. Welcome to Salford induction schedule. Wow, there's a lot of induction here going on. All is good. On behalf of the coaching staff at Salford, I would like to extend a warm welcome to the club. Prior to your appointment as head coach, uh, the staff have been handling the majority of the day-to-day -day business and activity. Over the coming days and weeks, we'll be in touch with introductory emails that are designed to give you an overview of the different areas of the club. I keep yawning. I apologize for that. Uh, I don't know why it's not that late in the day. Uh, and allow you to undertake introductions onto how they work. And so this, is a, this is cool. This is a new feature in 2019 where you get introduced or inducted, I should say, into a lot of the different um, kind of components of running a, a league, which is a really, really cool feature. Tactics induction, which is going to be a big one. Um, in some weird way, I'd kind of like to go in this order, but that's okay. I'm not seeing those other inductions right now. What is that? But anyway, we'll go just jump into the tactics, I guess. Why not? We'll do the in tactics, indu tactics induction. It's time to talk tactics. To begin with, you'll be given some options upon which to build a tactic. Once you're finished, I'll be back to help you with a few more things you might want to consider. All right. And this is really going to help us kind of understand, like, different parts of tactics. And there's a little bit more maybe depth to tactics and, and to really just, you know, things like, how we behave in transition and how we behave when we first, you know, uh, when we're on the defense and things like that. So it's really going to walk us through a lot of that and really help us get a tactic that plays the way we want it to. And again, there goes another yawn. Apologies. <laughs> wow. Um, I'm going to confess. I've actually looked through this a little bit before I started the recording. And so I think I know which one I want. I think I went with, was it either the gig press? Or the Tiki Daka. I don't remember. Instantly went back possession. High intensity running. Dominate possession. Relentless pressing. pressing patiently wait for openings. Might have been the vertical one. I do think I want to go with a three attacker setup. Um, either two strikers and a attacking midfielder. Or something to that effect. I've done route one in the past and it, you know, it works okay. Uh, I definitely want to, I want to go aggressive. I want to be very aggressive here. Emph emphasis on moving the ball vertically rather than side to side. This one's a little bit more spread out width wise. So this one might work better for us if we're going to go with a, a three, three, four or something to that effect. Um, shorter passing, play out defense, work ball into the box, be more expressive. Take short kicks, higher defensive line, which is um, risky. But, you know, like I said, I want to be aggressive. Gag and press. Um, working hard and above all else being fit and mobile enough to press opposition, opposition immediately after losing the ball. So after we lose the ball, we're pressing. We're all over them. We're, we're, we're swarming them in some ways, it looks like. I think I'm going to go with vertical tiki taka. I don't know why. I just feel like, one, it sounds funny to say. And um, we'll go with that. Okay. So I want to go with a four defender. That's fine. Uh, 
I think I said a three three four, but what I meant was four three three. Um which that's okay, but I'm actually gonna bring you Um I guess four three three is fine. Four three three I'm gonna move it around a little bit. I guess I can't move it around right this second. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put, I think, two attackers, a guy here, and then two uh, midfielders with a guy on the defensive midfielder. That gives five guys on the defense and a lot of guys kind of attacking. So I think that'll be a good setup. I'll go with that, confirm. Uh, your creative tactic will become your, the, the primary trained tactic. This will be your club's tactical identity and will aid your assistant setting up weekly training sales. You may want, also want to create two alternate tactics that will train uh, for familiarity. Okay, so um, here's all of our... You know, mentality and possession and transition, all that stuff is here. And that's really going to help us out a lot. So in possession, we want you can bring the narrow the width in a little bit, uh, which actually I think it's already. Oh, this is just oh, I'm sorry. This is like we can't adjust it because it's still talking to us. Um it's really kind of going through. Oh, this is the in transition where you can counter press, counter, hold shape, regroup, all that kind of stuff. So it's really going to walk through that. Here's the lines. I mean, we're having a very high defensive line, which is a bit risky. Uh, we could uh, set ourselves up for some failure, or also we could also set up to uh, to trap the guys into um, into going offsides a bit more. During uh, phases out of possession, fair enough. We'll go ahead and go through that. I think we know most of this. So I'm going to go through every single line of this. Technically, not ready to go. Here's the provisional squad and the best suits it. Okay, fair enough. They're kind of already getting this set up with something. Talking through some of the goalkeeper stuff. Again, a lot of the stuff we do already know. Um, team fluidity is fluid right now. And here's all the different positions. Here's our conditioning. Cool. So that was the induction. Um, and I'm actually going to go back over there while we just finished the induction. And finish setting this up a little bit. So I do want to kind of go a little bit more. They've changed the wording here. Um, this used to be uh, counter. Now it's cautious. And this used to be control. And now it's positive. So, yeah, I'm not sure if there's a specific reason for that, but I'm okay with that. In possession, we are, I think we're going to keep it the way it is. It's already going to be fairly narrow. Um, focus play through middle, middle. I'm okay with most of this. I don't know if there's any reason to change any of this just yet. In transition, we're going to counter press and counter. I think I'm okay with that. Distribute to center backs. I'm okay with that. Take shorter kicks. A lot of this I'm okay with. We are going to have a higher defensive line. So, yeah, I think most of this is fine. The one thing I will change, though, is... Um, there we go. I am going to go ahead. Redshaw, that's another one of my guys that's really good that I've used a lot. Yeah, that's the guy that I've used a lot. He's, he's the guy that's my best score. That's, that's, what, uh, that's, that's what it was. Um, and I don't see him here. Why am I not seeing my other guy? Is he on one of my other leagues? But um, under 18s, did I move into under 18s? Jake Beasley. So Jake Beasley has done really, really well for me. Like he's my up and coming star. But Redshaw was a guy that I got um, that 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 was just playing so phenomenally for me in the past. Anyway, all right. Um, we are going to want to do something more like this. I mean, I'm okay with three attackers. It probably would be okay. Okay, so that's okay. I'm just I want to do this side by side. Okay, four three one two, and we're gonna pull you deck defensively. So this is counting as a four four two diamond narrow. Okay, I guess I can see it because it is a diamond here in the middle. I, I want to try this. I, I've been playing with this. This was actually the so formation we were using in our Medellin game, and I felt like it was going really well. And I kind of wanted to start off here, uh, if we can support it. Now we have to look at the team to see if they can actually support this type of thing. But this is kind of the direction I was wanting to go. Um, I didn't realize it was called 442 Diamond Narrow. For some reason, I thought it was called something else in the other game, but maybe I'm mistaken. And yeah, no, this is good. Um, we're going to quick pick. Just kind of let them set some stuff up, and we'll, we'll worry about this some more later. All right. Sounds to do uh, signings and transfer obligations. We got Rooney here, transfer, Neil Wiseman, Adam Rooney. Played a bunch of different teams over the years. And 
Jake Beasley is on loan too. Oh, Jake Beasley's on loan. No, I like the guy. That's right. We'll get him back at some point. We'll get him some trained up and stuff like that. Danny Whitehead. I mean, I saw all these guys. I remember. I, truth be told, it's been a while. It's, I, I played this. I played, put on like 300 hours on this on 18 when it first came out playing South Salford City. I played several, several seasons. Um, I actually got him all the way up to the, uh, the Skybet League, I believe. And, um, the, the bottom one, the first one. So I got him past the National League here. But um, but then I stopped playing for quite a while. I had a lot of other stuff going on. So I remember the names. I remember a lot of this stuff, but it's not super, super fresh necessarily. Preseason preparation. Players are due to um, return. I do think I would want to make sure we arrange plenty of friendlies here. Now, that's, another, that's one of the tips I remember seeing in uh, previously, that during preseason, you kind of want to do at least two friendlies a, uh, a week. At least. Um, so, where's the first game of the actual national? Way down here. Leighton Orient. So, probably one of these games we're going to try and schedule something. I'm thinking Saturday, like Tuesday, Saturday, something like that. And I'd like to bring some money in. Um, bring some larger ones. Similar reputation, smaller reputation. Let's go. We're getting some very large reputation teams, but I don't know if we want to start <laughs> start this whole season off that that rough of a foot. We might play one of them at some point. Let's go with Mount Bolton. Fifty-five k. Is that really how much we would get? Oh, we get seventy thousand income. Am I misremembering this? I might be even misremembering how this works. Let's go with similar reputation for now. Let's start off with a little bit less crazy. Harrogate, that's going to be fine. Um, let's go... Oh, that I didn't actually do it. Uh, confirm. So we'll do that. And I want to arrange another friendly. We'll go... I guess Tuesday, Saturday is fine. Affiliated clubs, Burry. Will that give us any money? 30,000 income. Okay, sure, why not? A um, couple home games is fine. We got a couple of away games. We'll do this one home since I've already got it scheduled there or kind of set up. Then we'll do an away game over here. Let's go away. Uh, let's go nearby teams maybe or something. Or just... Similar reputation. Larger reputation. Let's go to Bradford City. We're not getting a lot of money for these, but I'm just trying to kind of mix it up a little bit. Some that are worthwhile playing that we might actually have a chance. Also some that are, you know, there's Manchester United, United under 23s. It's going to be an interesting game. Uh, we'll do this one here. Um, we'll do another away game. Sunderland. Lincoln. Oh, let's go Lincoln. Ha <laughs> ha, the Lincoln Locos. Uh, there's another YouTuber that does a lot of Lincoln Locos games, so I like that one. That's going to be fun. All righty. Uh, I like it. Looks like it looks good. Uh, we got friendly set up all the way. I think it's okay to have one less this first week here, just get a little bit more rest before our actual start of our season. Uh, I'm okay with that. All right. Go back to the inbox. Preseason fitness report. Back in top condition. Good stuff. English transfer window in progress. Looks good. Background. We've got one Vanarama National League North, one English North Premier League Division One North <laughs> Division One. Um, we're not a very, we're very low, you know, prestigious, you know, type, very low prestige team is what I'm trying to say. We got poor training facilities, poor youth facilities. Something to build up on though. Uh, overall strength, positioning, finishing, strength, long shots, transfer budget apparently is pretty strong. Good to know. Defensive depth, midfield. I mean, all of our depth not that great right now. So we do have, we'll go ahead and take the induction. Overview of the squad strengths and weaknesses, which I have keen, I've kept, sorry, I can't read today, which I will keep updated as the season progresses. Payroll budget's actually apparently still really good. I and mean, we've got a lot of positives. It's kind of surprising to have this many positives. 
But again, overall depth is not so much. I mean, you can see here our defensive left, we need to get some more guys there for sure. Defensive right might be okay. Goalkeepers, we only got two. Got a lot of strikers, got a lot of attacking midfielders. I think we're going to be okay with the formation we want to go with, as long as we get somebody on the left side here. Um, everything looks good here. Oh, yeah, this is where it's telling us we've got the highest average, really? Average player value, average player salary, really? I'm, I'm surprised that we're uh, that well off. All right. Request youth facilities. Uh, yeah, I would love to request some youth facilities. I doubt. They're going to go for it. Yep, I didn't think so. But we tried. Um, suited for corner duties. Uh, I'm not going to worry about those just yet. That will all get sorted out soon enough. All right. Is that everything? I mean, we got some more stuff to worry about. We already set up the tactics a little bit. We'll move some players around here momentarily and kind of really decide how we want to attack and defensive and things like that. Um, go from there. Anything else I wanted to set up? I mean, medical center. Probably want to set up our coaches and training and stuff. Training is different. So the training is, is definitely different. You know what? We're going to go... We're going to go ahead and advance. We're going to see if the training gives us a, a training email here in a moment. I think it will. Okay, training schedule changes in South Salford City. So this one is giving us a big old exclamation mark. Now, that's one thing that's different. Like, there's a lot of how you train. You can train different parts of your team, like your defense and your, your offense, your attackers, things like that separately. Um, you can train um, specific things. You can obviously see the different day-by-day you know, obviously, here you see the goalkeeping unit. I'm trying to point at the screen. Goalkeeping unit, the defensive unit, and offensive unit, all each have their own intensity on here um, with different injury risks and things like that. So they've broken it up quite a bit. Uh, there's definitely different rests for different parts. We got session one, session two, and then extra session here. Uh, most of the days we're resting the extra session, but we might want to go a little more crazy on some days. Um, view original schedule, that's fine. Due to fixture changes, I've adjusted the training period for the week. That's fine. I think it's probably because of the different matches that we've got coming up, which is okay. Um, season expectations. So, okay, this is where we need to figure out how much money we're going to get because based on what we expect to get. Promotion by winning the league. That one can't change, unfortunately. Reach second round, reach third round, and we can get a lot more money if we go that route, but I don't know that we're going to go that crazy. I think we'll just keep it a little bit light. It's not going to be that far off. We're not going to get that much more budget if we go up here, and I like to keep our expectations a little bit low. This is already a pretty substantial expectation to go win that, so I'm going to go ahead and confirm that. I'm not going to change things too much. Familiarity, um, plan general training for first team. I think that's going to be me. Set up individual training for first team. That's going to be me. Plan general training for youth squads. I'm going to let the coaching staff do both of those for now. And, and we can do the training induction, so why not? Primary tactic defines the tactical identity of the club and will help me determine the type of training to plan. You are also able to select up to two other tactics that will be trained for the purpose of gaining tactical familiarity. So... Um, that's good. And again, here's, here's kind of our thing right now. They're doing a lot of physical, a lot of outfield team bonding is always good. You know, some team activities, um, he'll automatically set up the training based on, okay, we already saw that different sessions have different thing impacts on things like attributes, tactical familiarity and injury risk. So again, just the way they've broken this up a lot more is a lot, a lot better. Here's all the different units and we can move people around to different units, you know, within this so that we can train these units, you know, separately, or we can add, you know, different units and things like that. We can add groups to the mentoring. So we're going to have somebody mentoring like a group. I think they can mentor up to three people at a time now, I believe, something like that. Here's our individual training along with scores for how well they've been doing on their training. Uh, that's going to help us really understand who's doing well, who's who's not, who needs to, you know, who's improving a lot and who needs, you know, maybe some different adjustments. Uh, this is a good screen too. here. We'll get to that here in a minute. Coaches, we'll look at that here in a moment as well. Uh, I'm again okay with me taking over those. I do want to go back to the training screens though for those arrest. Okay, so uh, I think for if you're greater than 90% condition, we're going to double the intensity. We're going to go crazy intensity. Uh, but if you're 80 to 90%, I think we'll go normal. A normal. We'll go half here and then no pitch. Okay, that's going to be good. So based on their condition, they're going to do more or less training just to kind of keep people, you know, kind of going crazy, you know, if they have the condition. Uh, but less so if, if they're a little bit tired or more tired. As for coaches, um, this is obviously a different, different screen. And I don't know. How do we want to? Okay, here's the screen I'm looking more used to. Um, 
Why are you in the red? I'm not sure why you're in the red. Oh, it's just, I just was hovered over you. I was like, what's going on? Um, so, okay. So shot stopping, you need good, a lot of things. Currently, we're taking over a lot of stuff. Kind of would probably like to get a fitness coach at some point. I don't know that we're all that good of a fitness coach, quite frankly. And so it'd probably be a good idea for us to get an actual fitness coach at some point. Who is our best fitness? Technically, our assistant coach here probably the better on the fitness side of things yeah look at how much that bumps that bumps that up we're gonna take us off of here uh in fact we're gonna go ahead and put you there as well put set a two star which is you know a little bit better than it was right uh it was two and a half star here but i think that's gonna be okay um but if we take you off some of these other things for now just to make sure you're not super tired and then our goalkeeping coach we'll make sure you're doing both the goalkeeping things that's fine. And then I'm actually just gonna uncheck us for now. And we'll fill out the rest of the stuff with us. Uh, tactical, um, I mean, I'm pretty good on the tactical, less so on the technical. So we'll take the tactical. Uh, we'll take the technical here and we'll take the tactical here. And then we may just have you take the technical, which you actually, well not you, that'd be you. Uh, you're not too bad on the technical, actually. So I'll take the technical, you take the technical. We're at least one and a half stars across the board. Nobody's getting too tired, I don't think. We'll go something like that. It's not great. We need some more coaches probably to fill in to, um, especially if we get a specific fitness coach. I think that would help things a lot. Overall, our staff is, here's our recruitment team. We do have one general manager, a couple scouts. We only have one physio. Um is in need of a head physio. So let's go ahead and place an advert for a head physio. And then can we also place an advert for a uh, chief scout? Because the board does feel like we're, we're in need of both of those. And I personally would like to get a fitness coach. Okay. Go with something like that. A couple adverts out. And uh, we're already about 27 minutes into this video. So like I said, I did think we were going to get into any games. <laughs> a lot of setup here. Um, set you up your social feed. Okay, that's fine. Friendly invitations accepted. Hopefully we get some decent, halfway decent money from a lot of those. Lincoln accepted or friendly. Good. Search starts for head physio. Search starts for chief scout. Search starts for fitness coach. Um, training schedule changes. Oh, because of the acceptance here they're gonna to have to move some stuff around so we're kind of getting less training overall but we're actually playing games um and here's the overall training schedule again lots of things changing because of because of these games that i plugged in introduce yourself to the squad here's our team dynamics no team leaders just a highly influential player in logan here or hogan <laughs> sorry liam hogan not logan um Let's go passionate. All right, we'll go. Well, actually, let me see. For now, we'll stay calm. Many of you have not heard of me. I want to introduce myself. Everybody's very good. We're going to be passionate now. Good enough to be champions, guys. And everybody's very positive here. That's exactly the sort of reaction I was looking for. Everybody's more or less happier good to see all right you know what i think we might what is our schedule right now we are on tomorrow is our under 18s match against uh, our other team just to kind of see fill the guys out so i think we're going to go ahead we've gotten a lot of setup done um i think we're going to put a cut in there uh and when we come back we may go ahead and play that friendly just to see what our team looks like um Actually, let me see. Is there any of these friendlies? I may actually hold off on the friendlies. We've done our setup. I think what I'm actually going to do is I'll play through all these friendlies myself. And then when we come back, we will see the team's first game against Leighton Orient. Uh, and I think that's going to be a good game. And I'll, I'll kind of go through any of the stuff that I did here in the preseason. I kind of just want to get into the season, you know, pretty quickly here. So you guys don't have to kind of waste too much time. So I'll play all the friendlies and... 
then you guys will see the results because the family results kind of hit or miss sometimes you're not really playing to win you're playing to to see how the team does so i do appreciate you watching uh and i hope you join me again next time as we begin our exciting season as uh, salford city um i do appreciate it thank you and goodbye